you know, years ago, contemplating this stuff, I came to this conclusion, and it's a very depressing conclusion because I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out the equation. I mean, what is the cost to benefit equation in judging life on Earth? We look at it. What do we come up with? What, what do we put on the one side of the scale, and what do we put on the other side of the scale? What are the pluses and what are the minuses? And, and when I looked at it, I said, well, wait a minute, if all we're doing is fulfilling our needs, if all we're doing is satisfying needs, what are we actually accomplishing? So I mean, I've touched on this in other videos, but now I'm throwing it straight out there. We're not doing anything. We're not accomplishing anything. We're not, we're not repairing anything. We're not, we're not building anything. All we're doing is feeding need. And then we recreate the need. We just keep doing it. We keep perpetuating the need. And, and uh, then I thought about it. If you took it one step further, so let's say I drew this conclusion that life wasn't worth living. You can't even escape. I mean, you know, you can kill yourself. But what good does that do you? Because you know, tomorrow some new person's going to be born. It's going to be conscious. It's not going to be you, but you know, I mean, it's effectively the same thing. They're going to have this self-awareness thing, and it might as well be you. And so you're just trapped in the same shithole. You're trapped here. And if I'm thinking to myself, well, I wouldn't want to live the life of 90%, I mean, for me personally, to tell you the truth, it's 99.9999% of the human beings on this planet. If I wouldn't want to live their life, or be them, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a glaring problem. Because guess what? That's what's going to happen. I mean, a, a friggin' airplane could land on me now, and I'm still trapped here in a way. I mean, I can die, but I can't really die. Because consciousness is going to be here tomorrow. And it's going to be just as real as somebody else, the new victim. And uh, nobody's thinking. You know, can't you know? Who's, who's even coming close to having this conversation in public anyway? Where's the where, who's who's saying it? Nobody. Nobody's talking about it because it's all this bullshit religion, or else the God is nature. I mean, you either have God is God or nature is God. No one's really thinking about it and saying, wait a minute, why am I presuming that life on Earth has a purpose? Why am I uh, presuming this is something we should be perpetuating just for the sake of perpetuating it? Because let's do the friggin' math. I mean, what do we get? What do we accomplish in living? What is, you know, what is the benefit to the universe? Having this blue ball with a bunch of parasites on it. That's what we are. We're fucking parasites on a planet. You know, complex compounds. If you took human intelligence out of the equation, what do you have? You have a, you know, you have a bunch of animals eating each other. It's just, you know, come on. And you know, look at the statistics. They most die before they're a year old, and all this. I mean, it's just life is brutal out there, and we keep covering it up because it's easy. It's, it's comforting. It's better. It's you know, the, 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 the psychology is built that way. We are built to have positives reinforced and to ignore the negatives, to not dwell on them, to just get over them. And so we can have some horrible, awful, this terrible experience. And when it's over, it's over. I mean, certainly we remember it, but we remember it as sometimes, oh yeah, it's over. Isn't that great? And we don't have to relive it. But let's say if the bargain was you had to relive it. And, and that's the reality. That is the reality. 